Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Aye, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? of rainbows. It's beautiful. Looks like it's finally time for our date with destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. Hmm. This is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's strange. I feel like I've been here before. I know what you mean. It's weirdly familiar. Well, it is the source of all life. I guess that makes sense. Very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. Aye, and so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The Sword of Light. It's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Hmm.
Damn you, Jasper! How did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? What was that? Now, now, princess. Such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? <laughs> My powers repelled. But how? Wait. That sword. Very impressive. But it will take more than a showy new weapon to defeat me. Come, Luminary. All of you. Prepare for the end. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death.
And what do we have here? What has Jasper led us into? What happened here? Your pal showed his true colors. That's what happened. He's no servant of Heliodor. He sold his soul to the forces of evil. <gasps> the Luminary is not your enemy. It was Jasper all along. Curse you. So this is how you repay your king? With treachery? Master, help me. <gasps> Faithless cur! You would dare to betray me? Betray your kingdom? Death is more than you deserve. <laughs> I am grateful to you, Hendrik. If you had not brought me here, I may never have learned the truth. If not for your intervention, who knows how long it might have continued? Who knows how much damage might have been wrought? <sighs> I was merely doing my duty, sire. I only wish he had been unmasked sooner. It seems I owe you an apology. I have visited a grave injustice upon you. It was Jasper who spoke of the Dark Spawn, who poisoned me against you. I see now that all this was merely part of his wicked scheme. Father! <laughs> oh! Uh, Jade! My beloved daughter! How is it that I did not see you there? Today is a day of surprises indeed. Come, let me look at you. <laughs> you have suffered greatly, Lord Robert. The fall of Dundrasil and all that has happened since were tragic events indeed. But it is time to put them behind us and face the future. Would you not agree? Sorry, Your Majesty, but I'll be putting nothing behind me until I've dealt with the cause of it all. Mordigan. Ah, yes. Mordigan. Doubtless, Jasper bent the knee to that fiend. I see now that he is the source of the evil that afflicts our world. No doubt, he is out there even as we speak. Lying low, biding his time. But we have the luminary on our side. Now, you must claim the Sword of Light. The sacred power of Yggdrasil is your birthright. Take it. It is long past time.
It is beautiful. Magnificent. May I take a closer look? What was that? Well, no matter. Now that we have the sword, let us return to Heliodor. We must celebrate your triumph. Wait, you're inviting us back to the castle. But of course, Lord Robert, you are the defenders of Yggdrasil. The unmaskers of the traitor Jasper. Your great deeds deserve recognition. Well, Luminary, I trust that you will take me up on my invitation. In time, I will make amends. I swear it. We will go ahead and begin the preparations. We look forward to welcoming you in Heliodor.
luminary. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you in the manner you deserve at last. To think I once thought ill of you, saw you as a harbinger of calamity, called you unconscionable things. You are truly a Jasper cast a most malign shadow. I owe you a great deal. You have revealed the traitor in our midst and returned my daughter to me. As a small token of my appreciation, I have arranged for some special visitors. Hendrik, if you would. Yes, sir. about you. I heard all these horrible stories. I, I thought you, you might be. Right after you left the village, this horrible man called Jasper came with all these soldiers. I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He ordered us all to gather in the middle of the village and then, then he told his men to kill us all. But Sir Hendrik came to the rescue. He showed up just in the nick of time and told Jasper to let us live. They still locked us up in the castle, but at least we were safe. And then they came and told us you weren't a baddie after all and let us go. We've been through an awful lot, love. But from what I hear, so have you. I'm proud of you. And so is your granddad, I'm sure. <laughs> now let us begin the festivities at last. A banquet worthy of our saviour awaits. From this day forth, none shall doubt the luminary. He shall be honoured, celebrated, adored.
What is this? Why can I not touch the sword? Surely, it cannot be! The cursed luminary! Give it to me! Give me the sword of light! It belongs to me! <gasps> What's going on in here? Princess, what is the meaning of this? Mars! I knew it! You're not my father! Look at you! You're a monster, not a man! Yeah, blight are you? I had a feeling in the waters that something wasn't quite right with you, Carnelian. So this whole thing was a sham? The banquet, the speeches... Wow, that's cold! So who are you? He disappeared.
passiert? Something tells me he won't have gone far. Quick, let's search the castle. 